you guys got another video here for you now if you're receiving this error code here which is uh, not accessible uh, data error circle it redundancy check or location is not available then this can be pointing to your hard drive or misconfigured files or registry corruption uh, maybe you've had power loss or something like that you've got some sort of hard drive that's inaccessible the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure the drive is in good working order and you can do that with HDD scan. There's other software out there which you can do to check the smart and also check the hard drive to make sure the hard drive is working correctly and there's no damage to the hard drive. So let's go ahead and quickly install this software and we'll give it a quick check to make sure everything is okay. Now, if you are receiving any sort of noises from the hard drive, maybe the hard drive is a mechanical drive, then you want to be very careful and you want to uh, stop doing what you're doing and try to get the data off that drive as fast as you can before the drive fails. You can see here, I've got a couple of options here available which I can check, but the one we're interested in is the mechanical drive here, and we're gonna take a look at it by select it and then reading the smart. This will give us all the smart information. Now you can see that mine is showing up all green and that means the drive is functioning properly and the drive is in good working order. If yours is red or some sort of yellow uh, circles here, then what you need to do is uh, start checking the drive for some sort of issues that you may be having, maybe bad sectors, or maybe there's some other issue with the drive that's going on and you need to make sure. Now, if the drive is bad and you haven't got a backup of your data, I'd advise you not to run any stringent testing on that drive because you could end up uh, killing the drive off and making it fail completely. Now you might not even be able to access the drive where the drive is inaccessible, where you can't get onto it and it's not initializing. If that is the case and you've got all your data backed up and you're just trying to get the drive to work, then you can uh, format the drive and try to uh, get the drive working again. But normally when the drive is starting to fail, it's time to replace it. So you can verify by read data without transfer. You can read uh, data uh, to the host and also you've got butterfly here which reads data to the host with seeks and then you've got the erased area here which allow you to erase the drive if you want to try to erase it this way got some built-in tools in here as well which gives you the driver id which will identify your drive and give you some information also features and other bits and pieces so it's a pretty nice little bit of software to use here so let's go ahead and run a quick test on the drive here so let me just show you how these work here but there is other software that you can use. You can choose whatever software you like to use. Maybe you don't want to use HDD scan and you like to use Crystal Disk, or you want to use other types of software, or maybe you want to go to uh, Seagate or Western Digital's website and download their software and do extensive testing that way. Whatever floats your boat, you can choose whatever software you like. Just be very careful. Uh, when you're running scans on here, like I said, if you've got any clicking on the drive or the drive is freezing or the drive is making some weird noises, then you don't really want to uh, put in any stress on the drive at all. Because as I've said, if the drive suddenly fails, you're going to end up with major problems. Now you'll see like a, a green, orange and red here, and you've got uh, bads here, which are going to light up blue. So if you get any colors coming up here, you know, the drive is starting to fail. Now, in my personal uh, experience, it's not worth trying to repair the drive. It's time to replace it. And the best thing to do is try to get the data off the drive and replace it. Now, if you do want to use tools from Seagate or Western Digital, you can go over to their website. Just type in there, Western Digital hard drive scan tools, and you'll see uh, bunches of stuff coming up here. And you can see Seagate and Western Digital. There's also Fujitsu. Uh, Toshiba, they've all got their own software. You can use those and run extensive tests on that drive to see whether the drive is failing. Once you know the drive is bad, then it's up to you what you want to do. Now, obviously, if you can't get access to the drive and you do want to get data back, then you can always use a data recovery specialist to try and recover that data if it's that precious to you. Now, also, there is other things you can do on here to check the drive as well, which is built into Windows. If you go into the command prompt and run this as administrator, you can type in here chkdsk, and this is going to be called check disk. 
and you want to get the drive that you're interested in checking. In this case, the drive letter is D, so that is the drive letter we're going to use. You can also run tests inside here by right clicking, go in properties, and checking the drive by error checking here. If you click on this, it tells me the drive is in working order. That means my drive is fine. But if yours is showing up error codes, then you'll know the drive is starting to fail. Once you've got the drive letter, you can go back into your command prompt if you prefer to use this and type in the letter of your choice. Put D, in my case, colon space forward slash F and then push enter. You might get the drive is in use or it can't dismount it and it will do it on the next reboot. I'm going to say no here and then move on and try another one. So you can do CHK DSK D colon, which is my drive letter space forward slash. And I'm going to do F space forward slash X, which will try to dismount the drive and also forward slash R. And then this will be a much more extensive check. It will take quite a while to run this check. Now, again, I can't stress enough. You don't want to be doing these types of tests if your drive is failing or it's bad. Because if your drive is failing, doing extensive tests like this can make the drive fail completely and then the drive will just die and you'll have to send it off to an expert to try and recover data from it. Now, another thing you can do is to check whether it's a file issue, whether it's the registry corruption, misconfigured files or something along those lines. What you can do is go into the command prompt as administrator and run SFC space forward slash scan now this will check the drive and verify that the windows resource uh, protection did not find any integrity violations this means that the files are all perfectly fine and there's no problems now if you are determined that the drive is bad and you want to try and get the data back you can use data recovery software the software i recommend is not free but it is called data get back it's a very uh, good piece of software for recovering data there is a couple of free options out there, but they're not that great. So if you want to get the best chance of getting your data back yourself, then get data back is probably the go to bit of software you can use to try to recover data on your PC. So your main goal is to try to determine whether it's a hard drive failure or whether it's a software issue. Another piece of software which PC repair techs use, which I'll mention is called Spinrite. It's on Steve Gibson's website been around for a long time some people say use it some people say don't use it but i'm just mentioning it because i know people will mention it in the comments section there's also other software on his website like smart uh, monitor and other software which you can use if you're down the pc repair tech sort of route again if you're a home user i would avoid it uh, another piece of software which people might mention which is hdd regenerator 2011. Now I've used this software in the past and it's a, a pretty decent bit of software. Again, I can't show you all the software that I've used in the past because we'll be here for quite a long time. It's pretty decent. It's not free, but it's always nice to have in your toolkit. Again, the main goal here is to determine whether the hard drive is failing. Once you know the hard drive is failing, the best thing to do is try to get your data off as quick as possible and then replace the drive once you've got the data off, it's that simple. If it's not a drive issue and it's a Windows issue, then you can always back your data up and reinstall Windows and see if that resolves your problems, or you can sit there and try to fix it. It's entirely up to you. Again, these simple tests are pretty straightforward. Just work out whether the drive is failing or not, and then move on from there. Now, where the real problem lies is when you don't have a backup of your data, and also the hard drive is inaccessible. You can't get access to the drive and you need to get that data off. If that is the case and you're not very familiar with these sort of problems and how to resolve them, then your best thing to do is to seek professional advice from your local PC repair tech or go to a data recovery specialist and they will then give you a fixed fee on how to recover the data from that drive if you need the data that bad and you don't have backups of it. Remember guys, always back up your data. You should make regular backups and keep at least three different types of backups. One on the computer you're using, one uh, onto maybe a NAS drive or something like that, and one off site, which will be in the cloud or something like that. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video helps you out. If it does, then give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.
Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.